Now that the war is over, things will never be the same again. You can't stay here with these natives. These people, they're my family. Who the bloody hell are you? Major Habibullah Khan, reporting for duty. You are selling army surplus. Mr. Soldier, this is not your army barrack. Something bad going to happen to this young man. If our people find out that you're defending a Japanese camp at Thai, they will talk. I just want to talk. Okay, okay, okay. You said you wanted to talk. Let's talk. Actually, you know what? Hey, 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 hey. Okay, fine. You want to kill me because I'm defending a Japanese? Go ahead. But ask yourself, is this the way to seek justice? Some of these people, you and your comrades go after, they're men with families, wives, children, mothers. Does it bring you peace? Does it help you sleep better at night? Very touching. Ah, uh, but you're still going to kill me. If I kill you, they will just send another lawyer. Then we'll have to repeat this whole thing. More work for us, right? Exactly. Anyway, we know you're with the Air Force, Sarin Boon. So I know, deep inside, you are one of us. Well, I wouldn't go as far I as... I can let you go. But... You have to do something for me. You can continue defending that Japun bastard. But I want you to make sure that, at the end of it, he will be standing right in front of that firing squad. Or else, you and I will have this talk again. Well, this is not something that I can control. Mr. Dennis Chang. This is not a request. It is an order. Everything all right? Fine. You're up for drinks later. Joy World. You can't be serious. Why not? After last night's hoo-ha, it's the safest place to be. Lightning isn't going to strike twice in the same place. That actually makes sense. But I... No, I can't. I, I got stuff to do. What happened at the Kampong, Ahmed's house? I brought Miss Ryder to the Kampong. She tried to take Mariam back with her. Mariam said no. And then Ahmad's son, Karim, told us to get out of the house. Shouldn't have forced me to bring Miss Ryder to the Gumbo. In these troubled times, the Ormida and the Ormida need all the business we can get. Major Jones and the BMA throw a lot of work our way. Even if they aren't the most generous paymasters, they make up for it in sheer volume. So if they ask for a small favour, we do it, and we do it with gratitude. Understand? You're not a lawyer in this firm, you're a law clerk. I hope the difference is clear to you. Clear, sir. Major, I need a sign off on this. It's 
Why are we writing these items off? They're damaged items from the surplus store. I did an inventory check this morning. They didn't look damaged to me. My friend, who knows what happens in the field, yeah? Someone is trying to write off good equipment as damaged goods so that they can indent new equipment and sell off the older stuff. You. You're selling surplus to your contacts in Joywell. This is conduct unbecoming of a British officer. <laughs> Major, look around you. There are British officers and then there's us. That's what you need to understand. They get theirs, we also need to get ours. Look, I just need to sign off on this. Nobody else will see this form other than the store clerk. I'll give you a cut from the sale. That's more than enough for one bloody signature, wouldn't you say? I wouldn't say. The fact is good. You're both here. I want a thorough inventory check of the Indian Army surplus store by the end of the week. Everything should be accounted for. Sir, the men have firebreak training this This week. is an order. You can follow orders, can't you, Major? Yes, sir. Fair. That wasn't very hard, was it? Oh, I almost forgot. If anything is found missing, the Indian officers in charge will answer for it. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. Captain. Bapa tak lalu makan, memikirkan tentang wanita Inggeris yang datang ke rumah kita untuk mengambil Maryam. I still remember what she said before she left. This is not over. Don't worry, Aunt Emma can't take me away if I don't want to go. Maryam, it's not Auntie Emma I'm worried about. It's the British. Bapa dengar mereka menggunakan kekerasan untuk memaksa orang ramai supaya mendengar arahan mereka. Pak, kenapa kita tak ke Kelantan? Keluarga kakak Atuk kan di sana. Karim, itu akan merumitkan lagi keadaan. Sedangkan askar-askar British sekarang berada di seluruh Malaya. Sooner or later, they will find us. This is our home. We stay. Sorry. We don't have much rice today. It's okay, Ma. I'll go out with us some tomorrow. See what we can get around town. Why don't you ask our neighbours? Thought you were giving them vegetables from our garden in exchange for rice? The neighbours don't want to give us any rice. Why? They're angry with us. For what? Ever since they heard that Dennis is Nakamura's lawyer, they all don't want to have anything to do with us. Mark, you can't be serious. Even if they're not against us, you, they just don't want to be seen supporting the Japanese. You make it sound as if we're Japanese collaborators. I'm defending a man on trial because it is my job and my duty. Your father would never have taken this case. How would you know? Oh. Excuse me. I have some depositions to go through. Agatha Christie helping you with your depositions? Very funny. Nakamura giving you a hard time? You could say that. Simon giving you a hard time? 
about that English girl from the Malay Kampung. Oh, I can handle that. You didn't come in to check on my reading habits, did you? Yeah, I should go and apologize to you Mark. You should apologize to Mark. Is that a man's voice? At this hour? <laughs> <laughs> June! Uh, don't worry, I'm not here to see you. I'm here to see Mark. Uh, but it's still nice to see you. I mean, not that I purposely came here not to see you. See Come Mark here. for... Uh, June, is it? <laughs> yes. Sorry, you are... Kwan Ming, I knew your father, Peter. We went to MacArthur's school together, uh, near Mount Emily. Uh, August was kind enough to bring me here to view some of your Mark's cookware. Cookware? You're here to take a look at our potted pans? <laughs> Allow me to clarify. Guan Ming is an investor in my cinema and he's also a collector of Peranakan rarities. I am looking to purchase some of your Mark's collection. Yes. It's beautiful and very well maintained. Oh, thank you. I will take the whole set. Oh. Promise me you will take good care of it. Of course. And now that I've seen the condition, I feel bad offering you the price that we discussed. Please. Let me increase it. You're too kind. <laughs> Please, have some tea. Your bracelet? Handmade? You've got a good eye. Yes, it is. I know someone who would pay a very good price for it. That is, of course, if you're willing to part with it. Oh, um, let me think about it. Oh, please, drink your tea. Oh, it's cold. Good night. Good night. <laughs> what? Mark, why are you selling your things? They're just lying around collecting dust. But you love that collection. I remember you told me when I was a child that you would never sell it. People change. Times change. Are you saying that you need the money? All I'm saying is, I don't want to live off my children. Is there something you're not telling us? When you finally settle down with a good husband, all I want is for you to spend your money and energy on raising my grandchildren properly. Mark, please. Let us help. Please. old. Hmm? My days will soon be numbered. I can't take my riches with me. Neither can I bring along a stupid crockery set. There are too many words. No one will bother to read the entire article, even if it's on the front page. But people need to know. They need to understand why we don't want to be under the British anymore, or anyone for that matter. We need a catchphrase. Something that will make people sit up and remember. Mardeka. What's that? It means independence. Nah. Just think about it. What is he doing here? I can explain. No explanation needed. We need to take back the parts that Naidu sold you. <laughs> wow. You big time, is it? You come here and throw money at me. And you demand this, demand that. Listen, huh? we need the parts back. I've given you the money. Fair exchange. No. I think about it.
no exchange. Mr. Ong. What the hell is going on in my club? These men came in looking for trouble. Helen. Why aren't you settling this? I'm just a floor manager. I look after my girls. Why don't you ask Joe? You know the deal. Joe stays in the back. I have an important guest coming in 10 minutes. I want you to settle this now. All right. You all heard the big boss? Don't make life difficult for us. Well, the top can. Do it properly. We will behave if he and his men do. We just want our parts back. Why? If I give you back my parts, then what about me? We bought the parts from Naidu, fair and square. And now you tell me the deal is off? The parts were not Naidu's to sell, friend. This is not my problem. I don't fight a one-armed man. But if a one-armed man wants to fight, our plans. Let's bring it outside. Hey, 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 gentlemen! Hey. How about we come to a better compromise? Hmm? What are you talking about? You return the parts to the good officers. And you return the money to the good gentlemen. And I will owe you a favor. How does that sound? The Almeida, you are famous. The parts are in the back store. Take them to the barracks and put them in the store right away. You'll never know when Captain Leslie will do a spot check. Say, thank you. Pleasure is all mine. You didn't have to. Of course I did. It was an honor to assist the Tiger of Rangoon. Now don't look so surprised. I saw you the other night and did a little digging. I must say, I'm very impressed. Now I'm getting a feeling that your intervention wasn't wholly spontaneous. <laughs> You're right. Shall we take a walk? So keep your head down and everything will be fine. Thank you. Good night. Helen. The BMA are organizing some raids. Where? All over the island. Major Jones was here to get some information. What kind of information? They want to round up the troublemakers, make an example out of them. Troublemakers? Quite a few of them are our regulars. Tell them to stay away for the next couple of weeks. I don't want any more craziness here. Right. Helen. Tell your friends at the MPHA to lay low. The BMA know more about your plans than you think. Thank you for settling the mess earlier. I should be getting back to the camp. Don't worry, we're not far off. <sighs> I 
You see that bridge? Blundell Bridge. Named after a governor of the Strait Settlement. A white British man who spent less than a quarter of his life here. Do you ever wonder why? When the people who use it every day are the Indians, the Malays and the Chinese, the people who actually live and work on this land. One good thing that came out of the war is that we no longer regard the British as superior. Independence is inevitable for India, for Malaya, for all of Britain's colonies. Good. If it's inevitable, then we can all just wait for it. I'd rather it be sooner than later. Thank you for your help earlier, sir. But if it's all the same to you, I'd rather not get involved. Then who are you loyal to, Habibullah? Is it to England? Why? Were you born there? What have they given you that they haven't also taken for their own benefit? Or are you loyal because it's what the people who took over your country, India, taught you from the day you were born? Better to die free of colonial rule than to live under it. I'm a soldier, Zahid, and I've seen too much death. I prefer not to see anymore. And I also serve at the pleasure of His Majesty the King. And I will continue to do so until I'm discharged of my duty. Until then, I bid you goodbye. Batang Pahit. Ask about Batang Pahit. And keep an eye on Naidu. I'm not confident Lieutenant Colonel Toshio is going to talk. We have to try. If I can make Toshio testify that he gave Nakamura the orders to commit those crimes, my client might still have a fighting chance. I'll be outside. If you need anything. us to speak, much less speak to us. He wants us to leave. This man is awaiting trial for the double tent atrocities, is he not? Did you tell him you could speak to the BMA, possibly lighten his sentence, if he cooperates with us? That's not going to work. It's not a promise, but we could try. No, you don't understand. Then help me understand. This man wants to die. He doesn't want us jeopardizing his death. Miss Ryder, ah, oh, June, I mean, you're here, right on time. Right on time for? Miss Ryder's going to wait in my office while you go to camp on Harapan, fetch Mariam and bring her back here. Excuse me? We would like you to go to camp on Harapan, fetch Mariam and bring her back here. I, um, I have urgent matters for Mr. Diomeda before he left. Now you listen to me. You will go to that kampong and you will bring the girl back here. Miss because if you don't, don't bother coming back to this office again. You can't. And you can tell that cousin of yours his services are no longer required by Diomeda and Diomeda either. Would you like to try me? Mm 
This appears to be a pattern with a lot of you, doesn't it? You want me to see what I can get out of him? Never mind. I'll do it. But he doesn't understand. Mm, I don't care. Warrant Officer Nakamura. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. But since you won't say anything, either way, I have nothing to lose, do I? We just went to see your commanding officer, Lieutenant Colonel Toshio. You do remember him, don't you? He said that when the Japanese surrendered, he wanted to commit suicide, but was stopped by the British in the nick of time. So now, he's determined to have the British do it for him. And his life. That's what you're trying to do, isn't it? And your life. Warrant Officer Nakamura, if that... Warrant Officer Nakamura. One hundred percent, Colonel. No shortfall. None that I can see. Everything's in place, sir, and all stocks are accounted for. Bravo. But how would you rate the condition of the equipment, Leslie? I beg your pardon, sir? Was the equipment well taken care of, in your expert opinion? Well, I mean, sir, the equipment is old and worn. The equipment was only four years old at most. Are you telling me that you haven't been maintaining your signal sets, Major Khan? Sir, I just got You here. were supposed to check the inventory. And if that inventory was not well maintained, then that would be a reason to bring it to our attention. I shall have to write this up. Non-maintenance of controlled items is a clear breach of procedure. Immediate restrictions are privileges for all the men. Two weeks, Captain. Sir. Respectfully, you asked us for a count and we counted. The equipment is functional, present and accounted for. And now you're picking on the cleanliness? Major, is this how you address a superior officer? I think you're just hanging us out to dry for your own amusement. Major, don't dig yourself deeper into the hole you're in. This is a clear-cut case of insubordination. How shall we deal with this, Leslie? I can't Please, drink anymore. This is reserved for special guests. Okay. To a terrible day. To a terrible day. I really don't understand Nakamura and Toshio. Does every Japanese soldier have a death wish? There is a lot about the culture that is difficult to understand, especially to an outsider. How do you do it? How do you maintain your balance? I do what I have to do. We all did. What did you have to do during the war? I don't understand what you're getting at. I'm just saying, someone like you, able to straddle both worlds, Chinese, Japanese, you must have been a real asset during the war. Yes and no. I mean, the Japanese soldiers wouldn't be able to understand the local language, and most locals don't speak Japanese. Mm -hmm. So for you to be able to work on both sides, you... I, Sorry. I've had a bit too much to drink. Excuse me. I'm going to the toilet.
When I was punished as a young recruit, I would have to stand out in the open for a day and a night before I'd be offered a drop of water. You see, deep down, we're both the same. That's why I understand you better than you think. Take it. Wanted it. There won't be another. Monsieur. You come to take my daughter away? Calm down, Inky Ahmad. I'm just here to talk. Shall we go inside? They've been gone an awfully long time. You don't think something might have happened to them, do you? I wouldn't worry. Oh, that's probably her. Uh, she probably had trouble getting a try shot. <laughs> Miss Ryder, Mr. De Silva. Where's the girl? The girl? Mariam? Oh, she's at home. At the kampong. You were supposed to bring her back here. I'm sorry, Miss Ryder, she's not coming. Mr. De Silva, what is the meaning of this? Yes, June, what's the meaning of this? Miss Ryder, we are not at liberty to discuss our client's affairs with you at this moment. A client? What client? Mr. Ahmad bin Johari is now a client of our firm. He engaged our services about an hour ago. He needed some help to retain custodial rights over his daughter, Mariam. This is his client agreement with his thumbprint and his down payment for our services. Mr. De Silva, this is outrageous. You had no right to engage this man as a client. This is a conflict of interest. As far as I know, Miss Ryder did not officially sign us on, so no conflict of interest exists. In fact, having Miss Ryder here is actually causing the conflict. And you did say yesterday that we needed the business, didn't you? I'm just trying to do my part, sir. Mr. De Silva, you assured me that my Marge would be in my care by day's end. Miss Ryder, I assure you June is merely a legal clerk. She has no power to engage clients, much less speak for this firm. We will discharge this man and June will bring Marge to you as arranged. Like hell I will. You are out of line, Miss Chen. Mr. De Silva. 
This document has Encik Ahmad's thumbprint on it. I've signed it on behalf of Dear Maida and Dear Maida. Money has exchanged hands. This is a legally binding contract, which Encik Ahmad has a copy of, and he has been told what he can do if he is unhappy with our work. Well done. Sacked. Fine. Let's call boss. If he agrees, I'll leave. But even then, this contract is legal. Inchik Ahmad is our client. Cannot be serious, Mr. De Silva. Miss Ryder, much as I'm loath to say it, June is correct. You are not a client officially, and unfortunately, Mr. Ahmed currently is. So we need to maintain full confidentiality to act in his best interests. My deepest apologies for having wasted your precious time. Major Jones and the BMA will hear of this. She's a British citizen and she will be reunited with me. Mark my words. How dare you undermine me like that? Get out! Virgin, Miss Al told me that you were present at Badang Bahe. Yes, sir. Tell him what you told me. It was early during the war. One of my men brought me to a rubber plantation at Batang Pait Estate. What I saw... There were at least 50 of them. Rubber tappers, all dead. It was a British regiment, sir. They were destroyed by a Japanese attack at Batang Pait Estate. The Japs came from nowhere, screaming, blowing bugles. The British soldiers that survived stumbled through a plantation and came upon some Indian men. The British soldiers asked them, where are the Japanese soldiers? What would a group of Indian coolies know about the Japanese? That's the thing, sir. They said they didn't know anything, but the British soldiers suspected that they were with the Japanese, the enemy. A couple of coolies tried to run, and they were shot in the back. Then soon, the whole group was running for the jungle. Someone gave the order to open fire. An incident like this, there must have been a report or some evidence. They could have covered it up, sir. And they did. No white soldier ever gets punished as far as I know. I still see them walking in the barracks. Soldiers like Lieutenant Colonel Holmes. I've heard stories, but I always thought they were rumours. Ghost stories, told to put fear in the hearts of men. I don't know what to believe anymore. They say the truth is brutal, but necessary. Look, you agreed to meet me here tonight, so I know you do believe even if you don't believe completely. What can I do? People follow people, not orders. If you speak, people will listen. Your men will listen to you, and you can lead them into battle once again. Only this time, it will be a battle for independence, freedom. Read this and decide for yourself whether the tiger will roar again.
Oh no, here we go again. My case did end it. Nakamura's still not talking. Yep. Everybody seems to have an opinion about the case though. Everyone wants a hand in determining the outcome. I just wish it was Nakamura himself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was downstairs and the postman passed me this. Oh, it's Hongjo. Dear Dennis, you asked me how the Japanese, my countrymen, think, and in answer, I've enclosed a few things to help you along. Firstly, you find an imperial rescript to the military forces issued by Emperor Meiji in 1902, used till today. There are also instructions to the Japanese military forces as well as an extract from the army training regulations. I've highlighted the relevant passages and translated them for you. And then, just to give you some cultural context, a gift. What are you going to do with that? <laughs> I wouldn't be caught dead wearing this, that's for sure. You'd be dead if you were caught wearing it. That's for sure. Oh my god. Indeed. It's not even your colour. No, forget the Yukata. I think I got it. Got what? I think I'd just figure out a way to argue Nakamura's case without requiring left and colour to shield to testify. It's a matter of principle. Marge needs her family. I need my family. I'll admit, I wasn't close to my sister. But after losing her and the rest of my family, I have nothing left. Nothing except Marge. Major, I worry that my niece is being brainwashed by these savages. Every day she's with them, I worry about how she's being treated, what she's being taught, how to eat with her hands, sleep on the floor, that sort of thing. Goodness knows if she's been tortured or anything worse. I would never forgive myself. Yes. Get me Lieutenant Colonel Holmes. Holmes? Sir. It's Major Jones. I want you to gather the troops and tell them to head into a kampong in the north. We are going to get Miss Margaret Barron back. This is 